I don't like women giving me orders. I spit on your grave. 1978 saw the release of I Spit on Your Grave, a film condemned by critics for its gratuitous scenes of sexual violence. The story follows Jennifer Hills, a writer who is brutally assaulted by several men and sets out to get revenge. This woman will soon cut, chop, break, and burn five men beyond recognition. As one of the first rape and revenge films ever made, the film garnered extreme debate as to whether the film was anti or pro-woman. The story was actually inspired by an incident that involved the film's director, Mayer Zarki. What you are about to see did happen. Zarki was driving home along with his friend when they passed a girl crawling from a bush. According to Zarki, she looked like the living dead, like a zombie. She was bloody and covered in mud, attacked and raped while she had been taking a common shortcut to meet with her boyfriend. Zarki took the girl to the police station, but quickly realized he should have taken her to the hospital when they met an officer that wasn't fit to wear the uniform. The officer insisted that the girl explain what happened to her, even though she had a broken jaw, and delayed them from getting her medical care. I'll give you something to remember for the rest of your life. He eventually let them go to the hospital after Zarki's insistence. The incident lit a creative fire in Zarki, eventually leading to the creation of I Spit on Your Grave. I Spit on Your Grave.